Masonry Vignette Number 1 from Duncan Cartledge Online. Hello and welcome to this short presentation on the calculation of mean girths and center lines. Here is an extract from Section 14 of New Rules of Measurement 2. Note that we're instructed to measure masonry using the center line, the mean girth, or average length. This slide shows the logic behind the use of mean girths or center lines. Calculate the length using the external face and you overmeasure. Again, if you calculate the length using the inside face, you undermeasure. Therefore, use the average of the two or center line girth, shown here in yellow. Center lines are calculated on the basis of the number of external angles. This slide shows one external angle from the previous slide. When using the external dimension, for each external angle, it is necessary to deduct half the thickness of the wall from both the length and the width, and then multiply this by the number of external angles, which in this case is four. Therefore, using the example on slide number six, first calculate the external girth, and then deduct an allowance for each of the external angles to arrive at the mean girth or center line. The mean girth can also be calculated from the internal face, in which case the allowance for the angles is added, not deducted. In Scotland, a technique known as over and between is also sometimes used. Not all mean girth calculations are as straightforward as the previous example. And at first sight, this example may seem to be much more complicated. But look again. The first step is to calculate the net number of external angles. In this case, there are six external angles, but there are also two internal angles. The number of the internal angles are set off against the number of external angles, giving a net number of four in this case. Also, the insets at top left and bottom right form part of a rectangle. So here we go. This time we are working with internal dimensions. The internal girth on the previous slide is 26 meters. And to this, we add the allowance for the external angles as detailed on slide six. Here are some of the other video tutorials available in this program.